Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Searching for Sasquatch is where a witness can tell their story, unload those feelings, and get it off their shoulders. If you would like to report a sighting, email us at sfsasquatch at gmail.com or see the link in the description below. Just copy and paste the link in your email. In this episode, we have two reported sightings from the beautiful state of South Carolina. Both sightings occurred as the witnesses were driving. Our first report today, number 41739, Class Alpha, comes to us from Cherokee County, South Carolina, and was reported by the witness on Sunday, July 28, 2013. This sighting occurred in early daylight, sometime between 7 and 7.20 a.m. The witness was traveling in an area where there are a large number of farms, and the sighting occurred near a pine forest where a creek runs alongside the road in a swampy area. The following is her report. I was alone on my way to work, traveling up the road about 7 a.m. or a little after. I was topping the hill when movement caught my eyes, about 800 to 900 feet ahead. It was large and dark colored. When I got to the spot where it crossed the road, I slowed down to see if it was still there. I was still driving, so I just couldn't take my eyes completely off the road. I should have stopped. But, as much as I could, I looked up the small hill. There was a massive creature on the top of the hill with gray, coarse hair about three to four inches long. Its chest, which was massive, had a white spot about two foot across on it. I was so in amazement, it never occurred to me to look up. My estimate was that its chest was about three foot across and on each side of the white spot, there was about six to seven inches or more of coarse gray hair, the color of a gray fox or a coyote. I went back after work, but did not find tracks or disturbance of any kind. However, there was an overpowering smell. It smelled like fresh meat, like a meat locker. BFRO investigator Matt P. followed up with the witness and adds the following details to this report. He said, I spoke with the witness at length about the creature that she observed in southern Cherokee County. The sighting occurred in the early morning during the witness's drive to work. She initially saw the creature traveling from south to north across the semi-open pasture adjacent to a creek. It crossed the road beside the creek heading toward a densely wooded area of pine forest. It was moving very quickly. She was able to see the relative size of the creature as it moved across the road at a distance from her, and again as she drove by the area where it crossed. At this time, she was able to get a much closer look at it. It was clearly upright and covered in coarse, charcoal gray hair. Interestingly, she stated that it had a section of hair on its chest that was nearly snow white. She likened the texture of the creature's hair to that of a yak. She kept emphasizing how massive the creature was, its chest being roughly three foot in breadth. She told me that she had no doubt that the creature she saw that morning was a Sasquatch. When she returned to the location after completing her workday, she didn't see any blatant sign of the creature, but she did notice that there was an overpowering smell of flesh in the air. Her husband is an avid deer hunter who processes his own venison, so she is familiar with the smell. She likened it to the smell of a deer meat locker. Two major waterways form the southeastern and southwestern boundaries of Cherokee County, the Bacolette River and the Broad River. The sighting occurred only a few miles from the confluence of these two waterways. That concludes our first report. Our second sighting, report number 13170, Class Alpha, comes to us from Oconee County, South Carolina. The report was submitted by the witness on Wednesday, November 30th, 2005, and happened just off of Highway 24 on the back road to Fairplay. The sighting occurred near a pond that looks like a swamp that was shallow with scattered timber, most of it falling or rotted. The witness gives us this report. He said, for years, our neighbors would tell us that there was a Bigfoot that roamed the woods where we lived. There were talks about cattle being dismembered. 
we thought it was a way to keep us from wandering off and finding the illegal plants that they may have been growing. The only reason we somewhat believed them was because the grandmother who told us this was a minister at a local church. She is no longer with us. The day I saw what I believed to be a Bigfoot was a summer day in the early evening around 7.45 to 8.30ish. My sister and I were going to visit our friends. She was driving. We didn't have the lights on because it was not dark at all. We traveled this route all the time. During the school year, the bus travels this route also. The reason I say this is to let you know I'm familiar with the area. As we approach the small bridge that crosses a pond that we call a swamp, we both noticed it in the middle of the road. At first, I thought it was a bear. As she slowed the car and hit the horn, it stood up, looked in our direction, and took off across the swamp. I have seen many bears, twice too close for comfort. One of those times, I had one stand up in front of me in my grandma's backyard. I think it was as spooked as much as I was, and we both ran. It ran away on four legs. So, I know what I saw was not a bear. I remember being amazed watching this thing run off. I asked my sister to turn around and go back. She locked the doors and turned around. When we got back, there was something in the road that it must have been eating. A rabbit, possum, some type of small animal, probably roadkill. I can tell you, it was dark brown, at least six to seven foot tall. It happened so quick, I was not able to get a good look at the face. All I can remember was it was big, hairy, and had a large back with no neck. I was 16 years old at the time. My sister was 18. No one believed us, not even our neighbors. I am now 34. I can still see the image in my head. What made me recall this was the footage where the men on the horses recorded it walking away. Seeing that thing walking back into the woods, looking at the large back and the muscle, man. A follow-up investigation report was done by BFRO investigator Rex B. He said, the witness compared its build to that of a large basketball player, very broad in the shoulders, muscular and smaller hips compared to shoulders. The other defining item of note for the witness and his sister is how fast the animal moved. When they startled it on the road, it sprinted and covered nearly 60 to 70 yards very quickly. He said while the creature looks similar in nature to the Bigfoot in the Patterson footage, this one moved significantly faster toward the woods. Well, that wraps up our reports today on the two sightings that occurred while driving through the beautiful state of South Carolina. Stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.